Hey guys, welcome back to the Nova Show. It's your host, International Nova. And in today's episode, we got some cool music news, a freedom part in a spotlight, and some Beat music label updates. So let's get right to it. Now, some of you guys know Beat is our music label here at Freedom, and we are happy to announce that we have a brand new logo for Beat. Now, you guys can head over to our official YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash Beat, and check it out. We have the brand new logo, a brand new banner, and very soon, we'll also be having original content on the channel. We have also updated our Facebook page and our Twitter page to now have the new Beat logo and banners. We've also launched a brand new SoundCloud page, which you guys can go ahead and follow at soundcloud.com forward slash BeatMCN. Some of the other cool features we're working on is Beat Radio, which will be a 24-7 online radio station that we'll be using to promote our beat artists and music, as well as a brand new artist dashboard for our partners and artists. Now, if you guys want some more information on the Beat label, please leave a comment below, subscribe to our official YouTube channel, as well as Twitter and Facebook, the links are below. Now, we're also looking for new partners to partner into our BeatMCN, so if you guys are currently not with a network and would like to be with one, again, go ahead and leave a comment below and we'll give you more information. Now in today's news, according to a report from app analytics firm, App Annie, Spotify is now the number one streaming app in the world. Now this past year, Spotify has moved up in the streaming game when it comes to active users, revenue, and app downloads. In other news, the new Tupac movie is now looking for a new director. Rumor has the legendary music video director Benny Boom is in negotiations to direct the new Tupac movie that should be set to start shooting in 2016. Now for those of you who don't know, Benny Boom is a legendary music director who's won Director of the Year awards for his past work with Lil Wayne, Nicki Minaj, Rick Ross, Drake and so many others. Now in other news, love and hip hop star Mandeces has been sentenced to eight years in federal prison for drug trafficking. Now as part of his plea deal, Mendeecees has also agreed to pay the courts over $171,000 he has earned from the love and hip hop show as well as his Audi R8 sports car. Now in other news, there's a huge rumor that Apple will not be including a headphone jack in its newest version of the iPhone, the iPhone 7. Now according to the rumor, the headphone jack is supposed to be replaced by lightning connection earbuds. So we'll see how this goes. Hey guys, we're back in my home studio and today's Freedom Partner Spotlight goes to a producer slash DJ by the name of Overdrive Music. Let's go ahead and check him out. Now regarding your music, I would recommend adding more videos to your page as right now you only have a handful of songs or videos and I would love to hear some more music from you. Now regarding the music itself, it's actually pretty good. Um, one of the few things I would recommend though is listening to these songs, I could tell that it needs a lot of punch, it's lacking clarity, and right now it's pretty unbalanced. So one of the things I would definitely recommend is balancing out your beats, adding some punch, picking up the kick, adding some clarity by raising up your mids and your high frequencies. And this will definitely add some punch and some clarity to your production. Now in the past, I've actually spoken on the use of panning and the use of reverb to adding presence to your mix and your sounds. And your production can definitely use some of this. You seem to keep everything right in the middle, which is okay. Uh, but I like to experiment, add some panning, add some reverb, give some really cool effects and that's gonna grab your listener's attention a lot more than having a beat that's just kinda plain, kinda dull, and doesn't have any punch to it. Now I did notice that your latest video does have some vocals on it, which is actually pretty cool, but it seems pretty rough, not mixed, and doesn't have any attention paid to it when it comes to mixing these vocals in your production. So off the bat, I would definitely recommend throwing an EQ, throwing some compression, adding some reverb, and using some delays to give that vocal a nice effect uh, going with your production. Now going forward on the Nova Show and on the Beat YouTube channel, we will be having a lot more mixing tutorials to help you guys out when it comes to mixing and production and getting your songs to sound as best as possible. Now aside from that, I would love to see your progression as a producer and as a DJ, so please keep us updated when it comes to your music. Please keep commenting and supporting the Nova Show like you normally do. Now that's it for today's episode of the Nova Show. Please tune in on Friday for the next Freedom Partner Spotlight. Until then, you guys take care. Tell that you want it. What's up? Tell that you want it, girl. What's up?